So we got one that I've been talking about for weeks, man. First and foremost, hold on. Let, can, let me get a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me get the intro going in this one, man. Let me set the table. Jillian the Savage Robertson facing off against Ma uh, Miranda Fear the Maverick, man. This is a very, very high-level competition, and I'm not going to lie to you, man. Jillian Robertson has lost a lot of steam from losing to Tyler Santos to having to pull out the day of the fight against Miranda Maverick to, you know what I'm saying, now being put in this position where if she loses, it's going to be a real steep drop down those rankings and for Miranda Maverick this is kind of that catapult spot this is that spot where she could really elevate or uh uh elevate excuse me into a high level prospect legitimately because she's got some heat behind her right but a win over jillian robertson speaks volumes because jillian robertson absolutely no slouch man she's got wins over pollyanna botelho right that's a huge huge win who botelho is actually lined up to fight uh maeda bueno silva next man that's gonna be a banger watch out for that one folks but she also has a win over courtney casey who lost a very controversial decision recently she should have won the fight and she has a win uh against uh i believe it's sarah frota it's a knockout win and a submission win over casey so nonetheless she's dealing with a high, high level um, grappler, high level fighter. But give me your take on this one, man. Who do you see having the edge in this fight? Not about who's going to win, but who has the edge where, you know, in terms of striking, in terms of grappling. Give me some some thoughts on that. This one, this one I'm actually very excited, probably just because we've been talking about it for so damn long about this fight. But man, Jillian, I, edge overall, I'd give to Jillian Robertson. You know, just in the, lo the longevity of her game, the yeah. the list of, you know, killers that she's had to fight, both wins and losses against, man. I could just name, you know, five or six fighters right there who you think like, oh, these people have been in the spotlight. Yeah. And Jillian Robertson is right there. You know, she's very impressive on the ground. And what I like about her most is she stays calm, super, super calm. Now, kind of what against that, man, Miranda Maverick is fucking mean. Mm -hmm. Like, mean, mean. And it's one of the things that excites me most about her. So technique-wise technique, technique -wise and classic on-paper skill-wise, I'd give the advantage to Jillian Robertson overall indefinitely. But, like I said, that one little advantage of, of tenacity and mean streak, man, I'd give to Miranda Maverick. She In, in her last fight to me against uh, Jojua, she was piecing her up. She kept hitting her with the stiff, stiff left hand she has. And once she saw Jojua wipes her nose, like, oh, I just broke your nose. So she's like, oh, okay, instead of throwing the left straight, I'm going to throw the left elbow and add a little bit extra damage. And, man, to me, that just showed everything I needed to see to to be one so to see somebody want to be a fighter you know to see somebody actually want to go through the division and start taking people's heads off instead of going to decision wins that happen a lot of the time in the in the women's division so to answer your question Derek overall I'd give it to Jillian Robertson give the advantage but in that little little advantage of mean streak I'd give that to Miranda Maverick what about you what do you think well, it's interesting because I don't quite, I, I disagree a little bit, man. I think that Jillian Robertson is a specialist in the grappling, and I think that she has the grappling advantage, but not by a lot, man. I think it's very close there, too, because here's the thing about Miranda Maverick. She's touted as this, uh, you know, she's fighting out of the house of Muay Thai. She's the Southpaw Muay Thai striker, and that's what she gets, that's what she's known for at this point to the people who haven't really seen her fight. But I was watching all of her, like, regional stuff, all of her Invicta fights and things of that nature, you know, and, uh, dude, she's legit on the ground, too, man. So I think that the best path to victory for Jillian Robertson is unclear and the reason why is because okay you want to stand up you're not really a striker like that you're going to get pieced up by Maverick you want to go to the clinch you don't want to go to the clinch against a Muay Thai striker that's the last place you want to be you want to go to the ground well Miranda Maverick is a brown belt in BJJ and she out grappled Pearl Gonzalez in Invicta uh, for two out of three rounds you know what I mean so which is pretty impressive uh you know just to say that alone, right? Now, has the level of competition been the same? No, absolutely not. But like I said, I just think that Miranda Maverick is really well-balanced, man, everywhere. And Jillian Robertson has real deal deficiencies on the feet as opposed to being on the ground. Like we saw, we just saw, I need to see where the confidence is at because we just saw uh, Jillian Robertson, this high-level grappler, get out-grappled for three rounds by Tyler Santos. So... There's a difference between, and you saw it, right, AJ? You saw there's a difference between clinching and grappling and just doing that, looking for a submission, and clinching and grappling and throwing strikes at the same time. That's what Tyler Santos did. That's what I expect Miranda Maverick to do. And uh, long story short, man, listen, what exactly, like, let's just say Miranda Maverick stuffs the takedowns. What can Jillian Robertson do to make this interesting? I think she, had, in order for, uh, let's say Miranda Maverick stops the take, stuffs all the takedowns, I think the only thing Jillian Robertson can do is it's going to sound crazy sure. but work that clinch yeah. it's like the, the only thing because she she doesn't want to stay on the outside because uh, maverick has such impressive timing yeah. in all of her punches that was one thing i was noticing man she'll sit there and she'll just tap you piece you up and then knows exactly when to sit on her shots and hurt you 
very impressive striking. You don't want to be on the end of those punches. So I think you got to stuff them. You you know, she's stuffing your takedowns. So you got to stuff her punches, maybe just a couple inches short of where she wants to pop. Sure. So you're not getting actually hurt. But if she doesn't get the takedowns, I think it's going to be a very long night. I'm, I'm excited to actually see Miranda Maverick's ground game because you were right. She did out, out grapple Pearl Gonzalez, but the level, it's a yeah. whole nother level game in this thing. So that that's where I'm excited to see it because I do think Miranda Maverick can do some damage on the feet. We'll yeah. See. So here's the thing, man. I, I needed to get that out, play the devil's advocate, right? But we do need to be fair here. And that's what I want to do on this show is I want to say that Miranda Maverick, the one thing about her is that she is kind of flat footed. And that's one thing that we do need to take into consideration because she's flat footed. So she could throw extended combinations and so she could sit down on those shots, right? So when you're flat footed, that always uh, gives the opportunity and the vulnerability of being taken down. So all Jillian Robertson really needs to do is wait, you know, maybe eat a couple shots, wait till you really sit down and then shoot for the double, shoot for the single whatever you need to do get a trip and then you can have your way on the ground and if anything if jillian robertson can do anything um she can just stay there and she could stay in top control and she can win a fight from there so it will be interesting this is by no no means very one-sided and i think miranda maverick is just going to smash on her i just think that she's looked very impressive in her last couple bouts and whatnot and she's four and one in her last five um both of these fighters only got one knockout apiece don't be expecting a knockout i mean these are flyweights women flyweights for um you know but the interesting part is how does the grappling uh nullify each other both both of them are grappling specialists, you know what I mean? Uh, Jillian Robertson, six submissions, Miranda Maverick, five. The only difference is Miranda Maverick has never been submitted. So it'll be, you know, you it's that, that pride, right? It's kind of having that little chip on your shoulder saying, nah, bro, you're not going to get me out of there. Come on, you know who you're dealing with. So ultimately... Um, like I said, man, advantage on the feet, Miranda Maverick, advantage on the ground, Jillian Robertson, but not by much. And uh, in the clinch, definitely Maverick. So who wins and why? Me personally, I got Maverick by decision. You know, I don't, I, like you said, I don't think she's going to get Jillian Robertson out. I don't think, any, I don't think this fight's going to be finished early, but I do think it's going to be a hell of a scrap. A lot of rolling around, a lot of up and down, a lot of, a lot of the ground game is going to be utilized. So I'm excited to see what Maverick does. Cause this will set her up for the future to see if she can actually handle some of the big dogs like Ty, like Tyler Santos, yeah. you know? So I, I'm excited and I got Maverick by decision. Who you got? So I got Maverick by decision too, but the thing that scares me here is it's the intangibles that we talk about, right? Mar uh, Jillian Robertson needs a win here, right? She's three and two in her last five. If she goes three and three in her last six, it's just going to start looking ugly. You're going to rack up two big losses in a row. It's going to show that you lost to Macy Barber, uh, you lost to Santos, and if you lose to Maverick, then it's like, where where do we, where can we put you at this point, right? The UFC is in the business of creating winners, not people who are on losing streaks. We just saw Martin Day go 0-4 and, and get cut from the UFC, and Martin Day is a killer, right? We saw a lot of these fighters man getting cut out of their contracts and things of that nature and you know jillian robertson working with dean thomas they're going to come up with a strategy to try to nullify miranda maverick but nonetheless um just i just the elbows the knees the, the strikes the feints with the kios from miranda maverick you know what i mean i like it all i'm going maverick by decision